Hi everyone, I'm Maria Ifresinina and again from the Public Forum of NATO, our favorite YouTube studio and when when women appear in my studio, I'm always smiling, especially when I know this woman and I even okay with her name, Tordis Kolbrun Reykfjord. Wow, well done. That's extremely <laughs> well done. <laughs> we met once, the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, for Iceland. Hi, right. I'm happy to see you again. Last time we met in Munich Security Conference. Right. It is still war in Ukraine, but this summit is very important for our country and I want your analysis of the first day, your assess about what's going on, your feelings and emotions, because you are you are for Ukraine and we, yeah. we, we can see that you can feel, feel it. Well, it is true. I mean, this this summit is uh, historic and extremely important. Um, and the big message is uh, the continued support um, for Ukraine, obviously. Uh, and that, that is important um, regarding Ukraine's membership, which is, of course, very high on the agenda uh, and quite a challenging discussion. Um, my point is very clear. Uh, I mean, Ukraine belongs uh, in NATO, not, not for Ukraine's sake only, but for NATO's sake as well. Uh, and for the alliance and for all its member states and for Europe and for uh, the freedom of, freedom of European uh, citizens. Um, and what I think uh, Ukraine really deserves is uh, clear answers uh, and a clear path um, to become a member. Um, I look at, at these decisions here as a, as a step um, yeah. on, that, on that path. Um, and what I think we need to understand uh, is, is the reality of the Ukrainian people. I know we say we understand it, but I, I, I think it's extremely difficult to, to truly understand it. And I think we, we put a lot of pressure on the Ukrainian people. I mean, they, we say, I mean, you, you have to be thankful, you have to be polite, you can't be too angry, you have to do all these reforms. And, and I know that you're not doing the reforms uh, because we're asking you to. It's because you already made a decision where you're going. Um, so again, this is an important summit, the support needs to be there. But what I, you know, t just uh, find, what, what amazes me every day is how you cope, how you, how you handle everyday life. Uh, our discussions inside, we are here in the public forum, but you have summit there, mm. some building there where nobody can access. <laughs> are there discussions at tense or just very political? How, what can you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? A lot of discussions, um, mm -hmm. you know, bilaterally, people to people, and 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 and, and the meetings. Uh, but the but the most important thing is uh, a very clear, uh, continued support um, to Ukraine. The promise on on uh, finishing uh, the ratification regarding Sweden becoming a member, which is also an important. Um, yeah. The regional plans, also, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I would say that uh, I mean, of course, it's it, it's 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 politics, um, mm -hmm. and politics are, you know, it's it's all kinds. Um, but I think we we the main message is is strong, yeah. uh, strong signal, yeah. strong unity, and and that's the most important thing. When I saw you on television in our news Ukrainian that you were visiting um, Kiev, visiting President Zelensky, and of course uh, he brought you to Borodanka and Bucha, two places, I call them the places um, uh, when we all died, you know, because that was the first picture of the terroristic war mm -hmm. um, opened to us. We met with you on Munich conference and uh, you talked about war in the words from news you could see. Mm -hmm. But when you were there, exactly there, and could see everything by your eyes, mm -hmm. did anything change in you according to this war personally? Of course, these kind of experiences uh, have an effect on you. Um, and I try to you know, under, understand, uh, but I don't think you can truly do so uh, unless you're, you know, there and it, mm -hmm. it happens to you or your loved ones. Um, the, what it made, you know, the effect it had on me was uh, you are more 
determined to do what you can in a privileged position like I am in um, to to assist to do whatever is possible um, and what I think is important for us in a position like I'm in to understand uh, and not understand maybe to to realize and uh, handle is that uh, to do what it takes means that it's uncomfortable Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I, I have the feeling that like, uh, you know, what we're doing uh, should somehow be comfortable. Um, it can't be, you know, if, if it's comfortable, you're not doing enough. And I know this is extremely uh, complicated for, for many and you have different kind of, uh, you know, societies and challenges. Um, but the effect it had on me was uh, that I'm determined to do what, what I can in my position, on behalf of, of my uh, country, uh, but also just as a, as a, as a person. Um, but the effect was also how determined uh, the individuals there were to, 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 to rebuild, um, to think of the future and say, you know, this, you don't take these, uh, th this history from these towns, but we also have a future. Uh, and we're going to be strong and this, you know, these towns are going to be full of life uh, and full of the happiness and prosperity and, and a bright future. Uh, and that's also something that, you know, you, you, take, yeah, yeah. you take with you. On uh, the 23rd of March, um, the Icelandic parliament recognized the Holodomor mm -hmm. uh, of the last century as a genocide of the Ukrainian people. Why was it so essential for you mm -hmm. to do this? Well, first of all, because it happened um, and the recognition was, is important. Uh, the Ukrainian people and politicians, uh, you know, when they say something is very important to them, I try to listen and I try to understand why. Um, and at the time, you know, this was in, in, in March and when, the, when we were working on it was even, even earlier. Uh, we knew, you know, the, the, the winter was coming. Um, we knew about the threats uh, regarding the, the energy uh, and, and, you know, paralyzing the critical infrastructure and what effect it could have on, on people. Mm -hmm. So you could relate uh, a bit. And then it's a matter of recognition. I mean, to recognize what happened uh, matters. It matters to the current times. It also matters to, to regarding the past. And I mean, it's a, it's a human thing to, to, to be recognized and to get a recognition when something uh, happens to you, to your nation, to your loved ones, um, to your, you know, grandmothers or grandfathers, uh, etc. So it was very important and it was, I was extremely proud to see, you know, it had all Every, each and every parliamentarian in Iceland mm -hmm. uh, said, said, said yes and supported this. So to see the, you know, on, on the wall only green signs uh, and no red signs was, was, a, was a very good thing. And I'm, very, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of uh, the way the Icelandic people, you know, support Ukraine and, 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 and see it. And they truly want uh, that we continue uh, to support in, in every way we can. I'm very happy to hear this. Today the second day. Mm. My feelings are these two days differ a lot. I don't know why. Maybe okay. energetically, because that, that day, the, the day to, of yesterday was so stressful, yeah. so much chaos running here, running everybody. Today is more calm and like everybody's waiting for... Maybe it's my feeling, but mm. what do you exactly wait from today, the last day of summit? Mm. Well, of course, I mean, the, the outcome and the outcome being public uh, on what we decided on. Um, and of course, I mean, Zelensky is here mm -hmm. uh, and he will uh, address us later. So I look forward to, to listening to that. Um, I agree with you that uh, this day is, is starting a bit uh, differently. I just hope um, and I believe that uh, we will make the decision that show courage uh, because we need to and that we should uh, 
learn from 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 history. You always have skeptical voices on 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 many fronts. I mean, we're here in Lithuania. Uh, in Iceland was the first country to to recognize the regained independence mm -hmm. uh, at the time. And when they joined, I mean, they joined NATO, they joined EU. And I'm not comparing, you know, these countries, but I'm just saying. You know, people thought that there were, you know, voices of doubt, um, you know, who were we provoking? Is it, is it uh, too risky? Is it too soon? Is it too big? Uh, when we look back, <laughs> I think this, uh, these decisions have, uh, you know, they, they, they were quite strong and they were the right ones. Uh, not because the, everyone agreed at the time, not because the majority thought it was, you know, the right thing to do or, or, or very comfortable. Uh, but but we did it and all the decisions we're making now in these historic times and challenging times where we don't know if it's going to be much worse be before it gets better or if we'll be you know on the right track soon uh, I think it's important to to try to measure and think how will these decisions look like in 30 years it's interesting Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm really waiting for you in Kiev in peaceful times. Yes. I have yes. so many things to show you. Good things. Yes. Um, we have perfect earrings. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking you. <laughs> yeah. uh, masterpieces of Ukrainian. Yeah. So. I went to Odessa the other day and my, oh. first, my first thought was I can't wait to bring my family here as a tourist to yeah. explore. And Let me be your uh, <laughs> master of excursion through Kiev and Odessa. Thank you, Thank you so much, Doris, and take care Thank waiting you for too. you in Ukraine, in uh, Ukraine after victory. See you soon, guys.